Good morning, Marshfield. Good morning. I am Farah. And I am Grace. And we love the pledge, don't we? Let's see it. Let's send it. Have a ramtastic day. That is a very nice wish. Yep, I'm having it. I hope you're having it. And in our top story today, the Marshfield Theatrical Society competed in the METG Festival over the weekend with their creative spin on A Midsummer Night's Dream. And MHS won the preliminary round to move on to regionals. So congratulations to the entire company on such wonderful work. All-Star Cast Awards went to Emily Harrington Brown, Thomas Burke, Sophie Costello, Ali Lamba, Ariana Guzman, and Carly Connor. The regional competition will be held in two weeks, so break a leg, MHS. Seniors are really representing in those numbers. Yep. I watched it on Thursday. I was giggling the whole time. It was awesome. In other theatrical society news, to all the guys interested in being guest artists in this year's musical, the first rehearsal will be tomorrow in the auditorium at 4 o'clock. They look forward to seeing you after practice or tryouts. Wow, that's thrilling, Moshfield. Um, and on a related note, the musical is also looking for a few more featured dancers for this year's cast. If you are interested, stop by to join the fun today in the auditorium at 2.30 for more information. I wish I knew how to dance, let me tell you that, because freaky I'd be Friday, setting up. Like some freaky Ooh. tap dances? Yeah, and you can always say that you were in your high school's play. That's so fun. I, I, I tap danced and did ballet and jazz for like so five years of my life. Are you signing up? I like, am. You know what I'm, I'm also doing? Eating chicken patties chicken today. Chicken patties. Day. Chicken patties. That is so yummy. Who's excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. You know what else I'm excited for? Sports! Dodgeball. Oh yeah! What's up? It's sports. Yep. Good morning. It's Monday. And we're just theaters behind us. We don't got much to talk about, but we got a long, funny video. Oh, yeah, we do. Well, let's start it off with uh, some dodgeball. Yeah. And yeah, give it to him, Mikey. So, uh, dodgeball. There was a dodgeball tournament on Thursday. and There was a lot of good clips. There was about a yeah. dozen teams, you know. Yeah, and... There was a Marshfield Police Department team. There it's was a also, teacher's team. There was two teacher's team. I, Dolan had an absolute cannon. You know, there was a lot of good playing out there. Due to it being March, there's not a lot of uh, other things to cover, so we have a yeah. long video for dodgeball. Let's, let's, let's watch the dodgeball highlight reel. After the police just annihilated their first opponent, what was the team strategy going in? Yeah, it was ugly. We're just taking no prisoners. We're just going all out. We're going to win the whole thing. There's no doubt about it. It's basically a cakewalk. Chris, you guys got obliterated by the police team. It's all about communication, man. We didn't communicate. We, we had the energy, but we just didn't execute. Sadly, both teachers' teams just got out in the first round. Mr. T, kids are getting more athletic every day. What are the teachers going to do next year to put in a better run? We need to be a lot better. Uh, pitchers and catchers have to start a little bit earlier next year. I loosen up my arm a bit, but not good enough. My performance, not good enough at all. Uh, congratulations to the sophomore boys. They got me out. Mr. McGlain got me. That's okay. On to the next one. Green Harbor in the house. Let's go, baby. Mr. Landry, there's a lot of great teams here. Who do you think is going to win as we come to the end? This team with Amaral, that's who I'm picking. A lot of big, strong Rams. But uh, this is fun. You know, my team ended up on the, on the wrong end. But you know what? We all had fun. 
you know, it's, that's what these events are all about. It's just having fun, going out there, just having a good time. You know uh, exactly. what I mean, Luke? I know exactly what you you're know talking about. You know what I mean? About. Anthony, what's the game plan? Tough matchup right here. What do you think you gotta do to win this game? You know, we're gonna have a front row and a back row. We gotta keep some people safe in the back. We have to have fast kids go get the ball. And uh, we're just gonna try to strategize and really win this game. It's a big matchup right now. Pat Yusinko, your team is about to take on the police force. What are you guys going to do to win this game? We just got to stay athletic, throw the ball hard, get them at the feet. It's all that matters. Uh -huh. I've got the butterflies in my stomach right now, but we're still going to win. Connor. How did this win relate to basketball season? How did basketball get you prepared? Well, you know, we have these big crowds in the gym. You know, huge, huge performance by our team. And, you know, our team always steps up. This team's stepping up, too. I mean, playing in the gym, a lot of fans, gets you prepared for this. You guys did a great job. You are my, my pick to win, actually. I think it was pretty much a foregone conclusion that if we didn't actually throw that last game for the kids, that we would have won it all. But we're not, it's not about us, it's about the kids, or else we clearly would have won. Exactly. So, Lots of charity work today? We live for charity. That's, we, we protect and serve. And if we're guilty of anything as a group, it's caring too much. And as much as we wanted to win and take this title, we realized we're not stealing the dreams of these kids. These kids have their whole lives ahead of them. We're not going to crush them like we could have easily. Hey, that's the real win right there. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You guys just suffered a tough loss. What went wrong out there? Uh, a lot of people got hit by the ball, and we just kept on getting out, and nobody was catching it. And then finally, the last person couldn't catch the ball, and we lost. That's going to lose you dodgeball games. Hey, better luck next year, right? Here are the good guys. They seem to be the class of the field, the cream of the crop. Oh! In the semifinals of the Dodge Dodgeball Tournament! He gets hit twice, a mental lapse. Oh, what a move by Pat Yusinko. Such athleticism in that move. And they get another win. I'm here with Jay Amaral, the anchor of the team right here. After a big semi-final win to push him in the finals. Jay, how do you feel going into this? Championship game is going to be good competition. Uh -huh. uh, what I tell my guys in the huddle is that we go out there, we play dominant, and we get that win. Uh -huh. Chris Martin sneaking up on Teddy Stevens. Oh, and he catches it. Oh, and he's out. What a game in the closing minutes. Oh, what a shot from Cody. Jack Regan throws his arms up in the air and says, hey, we're not out of this game yet. It's a three on two. Oh, 
Oh, what a catch from Cody! Oh, they won it, and he hits him again! Crazy stuff! The bad boys stay alive by the skin of their teeth. How are you guys gonna come up top? Let me tell you, we just gotta play together. You know, the biggest key to dodgeball is a team, all right? We've been together for so long, we're a brotherhood, and that's why we're gonna come up on top. We're the Rams, uh -huh. and the Rams are rolling today. Let's go, Let's I'm inspired, go, I'm inspired. Baby. I'm rooting for the good guys. All right, we're here in the championship of the dodgeball event. We have the good boys right here. And over here, we got the bad boys. They've been scrapping all night. They just won by the skin of the teeth. It's gonna be a crazy event. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle your seats. Oh, great move by Brady Nicholson. Lots of athleticism there. Oh, what a play! Two catches! Palyasinko lashes out! Bang! Jack Regan against the team, and they win the championship! Great scenes! Oh my god! What a group of lads! They rejoice, they embrace each other. Absolutely spectacular stuff. Showing. I know. Shout out the police station for uh, getting a team together to compete. You know, that was yeah. pretty cool. A lot of farms lost in the first round. We're not going to talk about that. Yep. Um, it's the way the road. But in other news, spring sports start today. So if you have a tryout, it will be listed on the screen. Let's, uh, let's get us going. We love spring sports. We're ready to see some oh, uh, yeah. home runs. What, a try in rugby. Is that correct, Brady? Yeah. Um, what, what else? Some, uh, some bar downs and yeah, uh, lacrosse. lacrosse. Some hurdles to be hurdled. Some uh, what, what Nets, are points in tennis. Nets, tennis. And, uh, aces, yeah. aces to be aces, had. Yes, yeah. You know, when, I, when me, and, me and Mikey play, it's usually 15 love. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see you tomorrow for more, yeah. more action. If you yep. want to visit us, go on our Twitter at yeah. MSB Before the Bells. I think it's something like that. And uh, don't forget to cough into your elbow. And have a marvelous Monday. Oh, I like that. I fancy know. over here.